Hello everyone, Dev the Sunny Panda here, and you're watching me play Stardew Valley. Uh, I I welcome you first and uh, foremost as you're watching my video, and I also wish you a great day. I wish you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. Sat down for recording in the evening, and I have a good news for you. Um, I used to upload Stardew Valley twice a day, but from today onwards, I'm planning of having this as a daily series. Now, daily uploads can be a bit daunting because there's a lot to do. I have to play the game. I have to, you know, edit it, upload it, all that good stuff. But I feel, I feel I can pull it off and I want to do daily uploads for Stardew Valley so that I can keep the video short and sweet, say like around 20 minutes uh, every day and have a couple of days just, you know, e uploaded every day so that I'm progressing more in the game and also I'm having fun. I love playing Stardew Valley and more Stardew Valley can never be wrong in uh, anyone's life. So <laughs> it's it's a win-win for me who's playing it every day and for you who is watching it every day. I I think I have a couple of dedicated watches, not more than that. Our barn is ready. Amazing. Uh, but still, it's, it's more of a playing thing for me rather than uh, just getting the views or viewership you know that's that's also a thing now since I'm uploading my gameplay on YouTube um, I want it to be entertaining for you but I'm not going to compromise my my what I want to do for getting more viewers or like being a sellout basically is what I'm trying to say that's the best way I can put it so I hope you all enjoy the Stardew Valley videos and all, as always just leave me a comment if there's something I can improve or work on and it, it'll be lovely it just daily uploads of Stardew Valley trust me I can get more done and there'll be just more interesting content anyways I'll uh, cut back once I finish watering my entire farm all right all done watering we have a long day ahead of us oh my god let me let me close that I don't want my hands running away lots of energy too and let's check what I have in my inventory oh yeah those um, those bok choys they harvested finally and I can sell them I have some eggs that I can definitely put into the mayo maker. Speaking of mayo maker, I think I can create an other, another mayo machine. I need an earth crystal, a copper bar, wooden stone. I think I do have all of those. Uh, earth crystal, yeah. A copper bar, yeah. Uh, wooden stone was the other things that I required, right? Let's get stone that we require and the wood. Uh, we'll have to go chopping for trees today because I want to create more chests and organize myself. I have made lots of mistakes in terms of throwing away valuable items that I should probably have kept with me. But it's a learning thing and I, it's, it's, I feel annoyed when I actually make the mistake. But after that I'm like, hey, I can't be perfect. I, I myself don't want to spoil the game for me. So if I end up making mistakes, it's fine. I'm learning from them. Uh, no one's perfect from get-go. Right, 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 right. Anyways, um, so I'm going to create more chests today. So for that, I need to go wood chopping, and I also need to go wood chopping for uh, chopping. So, whoops, <laughs> wood chopping for sap uh, to create fertilizer. Uh, soon enough, we'll be in the next season. So yeah, let's let's get to some wood chopping and talk about. I I did a lot of fishing last episode, but I didn't talk about fish at all. Anyways, first off, are do you like eating fish or you don't? Like, th there's only two options. Either it's yes or no. Um, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of fish. But I do love uh, certain kinds of fish. And in India, you get a lot of spiced fried fish. Like, it's fried with the skin on and it's wonderful. But I've also seen, like, lovely recipes for salmon or other kinds of fish. And I, I watch these... I watched these survival shows like Man vs. Wild and there was another another survival show where this guy learns uh, how to live in the wild from the locals and tries to survive in the wild himself. I forgot what the, what the series name was but almost in everything there's always catching fresh, fresh fish and cooking and something about that always appealed to me, you know, the fact that you can catch fresh fish and uh, just enjoys something like um, other with other meats it's a bit more brutal when you have to catch them on your own then you have to kill them you have to remove the skin and stuff and with 
fish it's a it's a lot more simpler if you're all alone out there and you have to fend for yourself and catch stuff for yourself so yeah do you do you enjoy fishing what is what is the best part about fish what do you feel like uh, is it appealing to you in taste or is it just the ease to eat i know a lot of a uh, lot of people from the uk like fish and chips that's one kind to eat all my indian uh, viewers or watchers or people may just like you know tandoori refresh or fish kebabs and stuff like that so this all of us would have different tastes but what is something that you would prefer that's that's something interesting to talk about right like i don't know how stardew valley makes uh, makes you think about uh, real life situations but that's that's one that's a beauty of this game why am i hitting the wrong thing while it was did you see that this marker was on this red one but still it didn't uh, quite i don't know it didn't quite interact with that correctly anyways i have lots of wood uh, i think this should be my last tree and i have sap too so should be enough i feel for my plants 178 wood what happened to my other wood did i stock that up in uh, okay let's chop one more just one more once i have all these wood pieces with me i'm going to craft some what do you call it some chests and start organizing my content better because uh, contents rather i just feel like i have made a big mistake of not doing it yet but now since i have i have got to that stage where i realized that i have to do it i'm going to do it now not keep it delayed for long somehow or the other time one of these are going to run away uh, i should have also gone to marnie and got cows but it's okay i'll save that for tomorrow's to do um, let me get two eggs out. Look at that. Having two... Uh, why do I have... Oh, one is a large egg. All right. Um, here you go. Place it. Let that build up. Turn it into mayo. And let's... I need... I'll build these chests outside. Just because I know I can place them outside. And uh, I have so much space. I'll use my house for the more important things that I can't really place outside. Or just... You know, just it would look weird outside. But chests, I don't think they look weird outside. It's fine to have storage out here. Uh, let's me craft. Uh, I have how many can I craft? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's that's all I can craft for now. But that that those are enough. I feel. Let's me get them placed here so that um, I can place them down. Cause god damn it. Okay, so our first row will be of farming material seeds and all that good stuff let's place that there then our second row is going to be of mining materials and i'm going to get my chests from inside too but i need to empty them out first <laughs> which is uh, which is going to be a tedious process so let me do that and then i'll cut back all right, I have almost finished managing out my inventory and crafting uh, just like the chest. So let me show it to you. Let me take all these out of here. This should be my last one. Yes, and I can axe down this uh, as well. I'm running out of energy, but I don't need energy today anymore because I am done. So the first row is for farming and tools. And now that I have got the proper chest for this now, uh, let me let me place it here. Um, the third one is going to be just for tools that I have crafted but no longer use uh, or rather I'm not using. Uh, the second chest is for ingredients or like finished products. Uh, no, seeds are supposed to be uh, like fiber resources or just materials that I won't be using like flowers and maybe harvested goods that I don't want to sell uh, and things like that. Okay. And fertilizers go here. So just important things related to farming um, seeds and uh, sap goes here too where's my where's the rest of my sap i must have put it somewhere uh, yeah i have it here okay uh, seeds go here all kinds of seeds all kinds of uh, i think this is a hazelnut okay hazelnut is not a seed so it goes into the other one uh, star fruit seeds the melon seed the ancient seed the wheat seed and what else these ancient seeds two things i don't know what they are uh, Maybe I have to go and turn them into the library to get more of these ancient seeds. I don't know. Uh, so that goes here. Uh, where does wood go is the question. Wood goes in here. The ingredient 
the, just the kind of like farming organic material related to farming and uh, things that could you uh, can utensils i mean tools that could help in farming and finished products and goods and then sap sap is here too and then this one is just for tools so cherry bomb goes here my old fishing rod bamboo pole pole goes here where's my new fishing rod i think i kept it somewhere um sword is here that doesn't need to be here while i was moving things around i just plonked things randomly in some chest uh, i need to find my fishing rod Oh no, have I lost it? That would be sad if I would have lost my fishing rod. Ah, here it is. Okay, there we go. Good good thing I didn't lose it. So let's keep my unused sword here. Uh, the fishing rod here. Watering can needs to be with me. So yeah, just like a lot more organized. So these are organic green things. So let's mark them as green. All farm related tools and finished products and stuff. These are all mining materials and tools so they'll be i'll go for a gray this time because gray looks a lot better than a straight out dark black so we'll we'll mark that as gray and yeah look at that look at that now i have things organized and what i'm going to do is i'm also going to move my um oh nice mail ready um i'm going to move my you're starting to f feel exhausted okay okay don't worry furnace is going to be placed here uh can i place it here oh uh, yeah here and then i will have a couple more furnaces i think i don't need a lot for a furnace i just need stone uh copper ore and stone 20 copper ore for a furnace are you kidding me i have 80 so it would be useful actually to get one more in there and start smelting all this copper down um i already forgot <laughs> which it's going to take me a couple of days to exactly remember where what is but We'll, we'll, we'll eventually start working it out. Alright, let's craft another furnace, because why not? And place it here, just next to this one. Or do I need to be on there? Okay, uh, there we go. Now I can just have two of them. Oh, I need to be standing up to interact with them. Okay. Oh no, I can't reach that one. Oh no. Okay, I'll have to move them then. Maybe down? Does it work down? Because it's clearly it's not working here. Oh, my boy is sleeping out. Okay, it's time to go to bed and end the day for today. Yeah, let's go. Let's sleep. And we'll rush into the next day. Day 17 of all year one. Oh yeah, I sold my book choy and some trash. And trash earned me nothing. So, hooray for that. Um, I I want to start making more mail. Because I, I can get easy 1000 thousand gold per day from just mayo and pickles and whatnot and also have them stored in here uh, I have a couple of mayos here okay uh, let me get the eggs out there do I need the eggs no they can stay in I don't need uh, sorry fish uh, the fried eggs I have seven actual eggs which I never realized I do all right let me let me put it to work the mayo machine was not running overnight which is a sad thing it should be running every night but there's uh, no, I don't want to eat the egg, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to um, remove the copper ore and remove these furnaces. And sh sh can we place them down? Will it get stolen? Will there be a problem if we place it here? Or we can... Okay, what I'm going to do is place the furnace next to all the mining material. Since we, since we are going to use it a lot here anyways. Um... I should probably build that extra sto extra barn house from with Robin, like on that upgrade. But eh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's uh, as important uh, as like I don't need to. I don't think I need to jump. Wow, speaking is hard today. Jump into it, but eventually I will need it. So later. But for now, I think I can do without it. Okay, let's go and pet all my good boys and girls here, Shatrina. Being the most important one is hey there oh i need i need i need the eggs come on let's let's get the eggs nice for for round and quality eggs uh can you move please please who are you butchy please move thank you thank you i need to plant more grass uh, hey boy uh, did i did i pet him i think i did there was no heart symbol but i did pet him 
Um, today we are going to go to Marnie and get some cows. And that's going to be wonderful. Uh, I have so many eggplants to get rid of today. Uh, harvest or get rid of. Oh, my copper is also ready. Okay, I fin <laughs> I ended up watering it accidentally. So why not? Let me also water it this row because I already ended up doing it. Um, let's water it. Yeah, okay. And look at this. I have learned this from um, watching a stream of uh, Stardew Valley. I mean, I, I accidentally stumbled onto it. My favorite streamer, Yoxcast, were doing uh, a bit of Stardew Valley with Xylus and, Mo uh, and Mousy. And I, I ended up watching a bit of it. I didn't watch too much because, as I said, I want to explore the game. I don't want to spoil the game for myself. So, this is handy trick I learned from them. I don't need to really move around a lot. I can harvest eight tiles around me without even moving. So that's uh, that's cool, and I can water it too if I had that single watering can thing. But I I don't really have this single watering can thing uh, anymore. Oh my god, I'm ending up. I don't need. I shouldn't have the watering can equipped while I'm harvesting. It ended up watering. Uh, anyways, I'm going to I'm going to finish uh, collecting all these eggplants and watering my field, and then I'll, I'll cut back, and we can continue on our journey today to get some cows. All right, I'm done watering, and uh, I also smelted a couple of copper bars while I got to refilling my watering can. Look at that uh, strategic music come back right when I start talking. That's awesome. I always love background music in the game, while it's it, it let it just keep going on. Uh, what happened? These two look a little looked a little different, but it's not. It's just in my brain up there. Uh, so where was ore being kept here? Yeah, here, right? I stored these copper bars here. Um, I can I can't smelt any iron anymore because I don't have them. But anyways, it's time to sell um, all these eggplants. Time to sell the mayo. I'm I'm selling the mayo for now. Um, I decided to keep some, but I'm selling it. And where do the acorns go? Acorns are seeds, right? Yeah, they go here. Uh, stone goes here. Look at that. I'm being organized. Um, and the rest I can just keep on myself for now. Sap sap can. Sap can go here. I don't need sap right yet. Okay, let's uh, let's put copper in again. Having two of these is a time saver. Like, uh, it's actually I don't need to wait for them to smell. Why didn't I not have two of them already? Let's go and check on the mayo if it's ready yet. I think it should be. Yeah. Let's grab the mayo and then let's rush to Marnie. Now, uh, where's my eggs at? Here we go. Bam, bam. Okay, let's rush to Marnie, because I need cows. I need cows in my farm. Get Start getting milk, start cooking omelette, or even just sell the milk. Like, you don't need the milk. Okay, now this is a bit, this is a bit tempting. I don't want to go out with the copper, uh, not in the furnace. There we go. Let's go to Marnie now. Oh, these hands. They're having a wonderful day, just quacking around, quacking or chuck, chucking around. Okay, let's see how this is. Wow, this is quite, this is quite the construction. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get some cows in our farm because we actually need them uh, to just progress further on. I think, I think making animal goods before, before winter starts, if I start producing quite a lot of anim animal goods that I can sell, I can keep up my income during the winter too. This this area of my farm has been neglected by me for a long time and it's overgrown like wow this overgrown to the point where I can't even walk through Look at that. I can't walk through because something's blocking my way Wow uh, This is this is a quicker way to get to Marnie's From down here. Yeah here, but I need to come out sometime and clean up my farm But that's good, right? There's so much wood in there. I'm never going to run out of wood that's definitely uh, oh what's this common mushroom nice let's let's get some cows in here from Marnie no she's not there oh no what's the timing for the farm uh, ranch rather yeah 4 p.m. most days where is she where is Marnie no no I wanted my cows today oh no are we late she isn't here God damn it. Alright. Oh, who went in there? Is she looking for money? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger anymore, am I? But well, it's closed now. There's no money in here. 
Uh, I need to remember that sometimes they leave their workplace an hour early, which is a bit sad. Uh, can I? Can I not? I can't. I can't. I thought I could chop that because it was looking weird, but I can't. Let's say hi to Emily if she's home. We didn't speak to her yesterday. Uh, does it look like she's home? Maybe she's in the salon. I need to go there. Let's check here in the bedroom if she is. No. Oops. Uh, she isn't here. So let's go down to the salon and um, say hi. Um, uh, hi there. That's Marnie. She's she's all the way here. Why weren't you at your store? Hi. Need something? Yes, I do. I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future. Although I'll need to make sure there's a market for them. So you'll have to prove your skill with animals first. Just keep treating your animals with respect and good things will happen. Ah, you see. Why weren't you at your freaking place? I wanted more animals today, but you weren't there. Let's say hi to Emily. Let's say hi. Hey there. Hey. Are you friends with Clint? He's a nice guy if you get to know him. This is like the third time we are having the same conversation, Emily. Are you trying to get me jealous? At this point, at this point, I just feel she's trying to get me jealous of uh, Clint. But oh well, let's head back home because we have nothing else to do today. I could chop down more trees and save up on some wood because I have been... Um, well, I can't chop that wood, I don't think so. Uh, I have been using a lot of wood recently. And I know I can chop some wood outside my farm. Not all of them, but some of them at least. Uh, but I don't know exactly which ones. Like, can I chop this one? Yeah, I can. Nice. Let's get some wood and sap. Because uh, sap is always useful to have. Even if uh, we are not going in for the fertilizers, it's a good thing to keep with us because it's an ingredient in almost every fertilizer kind of build. Uh, no matter what kind of fertilizer we want, we want the speed grow, the, um, the one that retains water, anything. You require the, you require the saps for it. So it's a good commodity to just have on you always. And I'm getting acorn seeds. I can plant these trees and have them controlled grow in my farm. That would be amazing. Okay, I have just... I've run out of all my copper now. Can you imagine? We have come to a day where we have run out of all our copper. I wouldn't have thought of that. So next time, we need to get cows. And we also need to get... Uh, this is a common mushroom. This goes here. Uh, fiber goes here. Everything else goes in here and wood wood. Uh, I think we kept wood here right here. Wood goes here Maple goes here. Okay, it's going to take a couple of days to get this down perfectly, but hey It's happening and it's good that it's 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 a good change, you know, uh, let's throw in the mayos Let's sell the mayos uh, Throw in the box. I didn't mean throw them out. I meant sell them and these get collected and I have more eggs too. I, I'm sure I have more eggs. Um, do I not have more eggs? How is that possible? Did I, did I use up all my eggs? No, no. I'm sure I had some. But um, maybe I've kept them somewhere. I don't think so. I don't think I stashed the eggs anywhere. Did I accidentally sell them? Maybe I turned them all into mayo. Okay, I think I did turn them all into mayo. Wow. Well, that's a lot of mayo. So two mayo machines is working perfectly for us. For now, until we get the bigger coop, then we can start making even more mayo. We have some mayo here. Oops, I didn't want that. Let's sell them too. Let's see how much mayo uh, money we get from all the mayo we are selling today. So that I can become a mayo main when we go to towards winter you know when commodities of uh, I can't make any money out of farming so why not make money out of mayos that would be perfect <laughs> okay let's go to bed I didn't check the TV at all I should right yeah living off the land let's see if we learn something make sure you have enough hay stored up to feed your animals over the winter when all grass dies out each silo can hold 240 pieces of hay so make sure you do the math and figure out if you need to build any more I see Okay, that's a good tip actually. I'll make sure we're ready for it. Let's go to sleep. And that's where I'll call it a day. Uh, for this video, I'll end this episode. Let's see how much we actually got from males. 
Yeah, look, we got easily more than 1,000 gold for six jars of mail. In total, we have more than 1,600 gold for eight jars of mail. So if I can keep churning out mail, my gold income is set. I sold my eggs by mistake. Such an idiot. Oh my god. Okay. No worries, no worries. Anyways, that was that was a good episode. I felt nice playing it. And I hope you felt nice watching it. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you with more Stardew Valley tomorrow. Bye-bye.